we are going to install the AliExpress dual tip diffuser that I got in the last episode that was broke that I fixed. It was broke on arrival right there somewhere. Fixed it, prepared it. I'll put the link to the video up here somewhere if you want to watch it. But now we're going to go about how to install it. I need to put the third brake light in there. It's just two bolts that go through. And the main reason why I got this is because it has a wide opening. Fits the quad tip. And I just got lucky because the tips that I already have fit in there perfect. We need to figure out how to mount it. On the flat lip, it's going to get double sided tape. But in the kit, it came with some metal clips, screws right here. I think that you leave this bottom piece here. And then these clips will, of this plastic piece, like that, the clips will just slide on, and then you'll just drill the hole in the bottom, and then just secure it that way. So I'm just gonna take my alcohol, my IPA, and I'm just gonna wipe off the surface on the bumper, wipe off the surface on the inner lip, use 3M adhesion promoter, and I will put a link in the description below. If the link doesn't work, just let me know, and I'll find a new link. And then I use 3M VHB. VHB stands for very high bond, and it is way stickier than the regular 3M tape. So 3M adhesion promoter, 3M VHB. There will be a link in the description um, for this as well. If, like I said, the link doesn't work, let me know. So let me take my alcohol, clean up both surfaces. Uh, after that dries, I'm going to wipe both surfaces with the adhesion promoter and then I will apply my 3M tape. <laughs> 3M BHB on uh, the splitter. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to find the midpoint of the splitter, the midpoint of the bumper, get it taped up, and see if we can get it to stick. The issue that I have right now is that the bolts from the back of the light is actually hitting the plastic on the bottom of the bumper. So the bolts are hitting that piece right there. So since i believe that i need to keep this piece to bolt the bottom of the splitter to what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut an area right here so that it will clear the interference from the back of the light <laughs> So now, about in the center mark, the bumper sits pretty flat. So let me see if I can find something to kind of hold this up. And uh, we're going to try to get this thing attached. So I'm going to start at the corner and just work my way around. So the diffuser is on, it is attached. I end up not using the metal clips. I just use some half inch self tappers that I had. And I pre-drilled the hole with a little drill bit. So I put a self, little half inch self tapper on the end. I put one, two, three, four, five. And then I put another one on that end. 
just like this one. So now all we need to do is install the exhaust tips. I think this looks pretty good if I do say so myself. With the quad tips and the diffuser, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. So now I need to wire the third brake light. The black wire is going to be negative. I want the one that flashes and then goes solid at first. And the red just goes solid. So that means that the yellow must be the one that flashes and then goes solid. Yep, so we're going to use the yellow one. All right, let's see if the brake light works really quick. like it work so what you want is you want the white plug which is going to be the middle plug and then you want to put whatever wire that you want for the brake switch is going to be the red and blue wire it's going to be your brake light wire and then your black wire just needs to go on the ground so i'm probably going to put a spade on it and just put it right on that bolt right there since it's a bare metal ground so let's get that wired up. I'm going to use, use a T-tap like the rest of my T-taps. And uh, yep, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I reviewed the footage. It works. Everything works. So I will put the link uh, for the diffuser in the video description as well as fuse taps anything else i can think of uh, so on the ad that i bought it from it said that the light was not included and it came with it so your mileage may vary with that i wasn't expecting to have a light but it came with the kit like i said the ad said it didn't come with it so that's going to be on you whether you get one or not i appreciate y'all for joining if you have any questions let me know if you order one hopefully you get it and it's not broken like mine so peace and pizza grease.